Way back in the 1900s, Hal Campbell of the Standard Candy Company came up with a bar that combined four different ingredients, chocolate, peanuts, caramel, and marshmallow in one piece of candy. Problem was, he had no idea what to call it. Hal Campbell was riding a streetcar, and there was a teacher on the streetcar with him, and she had a baby with her, and she had this idea to say, hey, it could be called a Goo Goo. It's so good, we'll be asked for from birth. The Goo Goo Cluster was born. And though the process of making Goo Goo Clusters has certainly evolved, the product itself is almost exactly as it was 100 years ago. The making of the Goo Goo Cluster begins, appropriately enough, with the fusion of two sugary ingredients, caramel and marshmallow. As it moves down the line, the fused caramel and marshmallow go into the first of several cooling tunnels. And as they come out of that cooling tunnel, there is what's called a slitter spreader. So it takes this wide sheet of caramel and marshmallow nougat and splits it into several rows. And then it's on to the guillotine. My favorite part of the production process is probably when the caramel and the nougat are coming out of the slitter spreader and they enter into the guillotine. It sounds you know, masochistic, but it's pretty cool that you see it go from this big sheet to all these individual pieces that turn into a candy bar. Well, not quite yet. A big part of the Goo Goo Cluster is, after all, chocolate. In fact, 12,000 pounds of chocolate go into making them every day. That's the average weight of an adult African elephant. At that point, we go through uh, what I've affectionately termed Amen Corner. Once they turn the corner, the marshmallow caramel squares get their first taste of chocolate. But just a taste, just enough, in fact, to prepare for what comes next. From there, it goes through um, a shower of peanuts that fall down from above and shower it um, all across all the squares. And that coating chocolate allows the nuts then to stick to the product. If, they, if we just put the cores and the nuts fell onto the caramel, they would bounce off. But because of that coating chocolate, that, that gives the nuts something to grab onto. And they're going to need to hold on for dear life as they travel headlong into a curtain of pure chocolate. How can't you love a chocolate bath? And the smell that's coming from that machine as it passes through is pretty awesome. After they cool for a bit, it's off to packaging. Each Goo Goo Cluster is individually wrapped. So the first thing they have to do is get lined up properly. So when they hit the wrappers, they're in the proper position. As the unarranged clusters travel on a conveyor, a series of gates controlled by electric eyes drop down to force them into neat, orderly rows. It is first lined up on the conveyors and then dropped into a, a lower conveyor and shoots it into essentially one after another into rows. And those rows of fresh Goo Goo Clusters are headed for the wrapping machine. Now, the wrapping machine has a roller at the top with a large roll of film on it and that goes through a series of rollers down to where the product is. It is then wrapped around the product on the bottom and sealed, and then you have essentially a, a, a wrapped goo cluster moving right off that back line. Every production day, between 300 and 400,000 goo goo clusters tumble off the line. By the time they're ready for shipping, they've traveled three football fields from start to finish. But they will, of course, travel a lot further than that. Goo Goo Cluster is, is thought of as a southeastern brand, but it's a bit of a misnomer. We're actually distributed coast to coast. You can find us anywhere in the United States. Which means, no matter where you live, you're never too far from the candy so good we ask for it at birth.